is Stephen Capaldo in North Providence, Rhode Island, the Holy Spirit's job description. Welcome, thank you for listening. Uh, today I'm going to start with a very brief message on, uh, based on some teachings that I've heard recently about uh, the difference between studying the Word and doing the Word. And uh, Because very often uh, we kind of, uh, we, we study things to death and then, you know, we, we fail to really apply uh, what we learn to our experience. But uh, anyway, that, it will be a very brief, uh, just a little note but maybe something to keep in mind so uh, anyway we'd like to thank you father for this uh, day and this opportunity to come forward with the word and we, we pray and hope that uh, the uh, what will be communicated will be edifying to those who will hear it in Jesus name we pray amen uh, very often uh, and, and this is particularly true in, in Western Christianity I would say is that you know uh, Christians have the idea that uh, you know they just study and accumulate, you know, doctrines and, and different things, and, and certainly there's a place for that, but you know, really the more, more of the biblical mindset and Jesus' mindset was that you step out in faith, you do things by faith and in faith and from faith, you experience faith, and of course you study and you learn what you need to as you go along, but basically uh, if you study everything to death, it may be that you're, you're kind of actually doing a disservice to your faith, you're turning the whole... Uh, business of the Word of God into uh, something that is very academic, very intellectual, very theological. And, and some people, therefore, you know, they, they even, they pray a confession of faith, but really they never really get to know the Lord. They're never really reborn of the Spirit because they have intellectualized their faith. And, and uh, it's, it's just what they know about God, but they have never really allowed themselves to experience the love of God. And I think that's a, that's a very important distinction. It's not, I'm not in any way can condemning uh, study. We are to study, but I do think that uh, it, it's kind of uh, the Western mindset, but it's not really the biblical mindset or the Jesus mindset, you know, that you would just study, you know, systematic theologies and doctrine upon doctrine upon doctrine uh, without uh, applying that really if you look at what Jesus did, now obviously he didn't need to attend a Bible college, he's the Word of God, and so he just, he, he prayed to his Father and he just, he conducted his ministry. He just, he, he went into it, he did everything by faith. He had total faith. And, uh, but even Paul, uh, uh, Paul, the Apostle Paul, uh, there's no evidence that he went to any kind of Bible college or, or any of the, uh, any of the, uh, the apostles or, or disciples. You know, they, they, they made a decision to, to step out in faith and they learned as they went along and they didn't have these, all of these, uh, you know, uh, the, the, these, uh, doctrinal works, uh, works and systematic theologies and such. So I think it's very, uh, it's a very good idea for, for us all as uh, believers and followers in Jesus Christ to take a look at how we approach our faith walk and are we trying to intellectualize it too much and kind of study it to death and we don't end up applying it the right way and maybe we don't end up applying it at all. Is it better just to step out in faith and do things because we believe? Uh, and and we, we, we trust God and then of course sometimes we get it wrong and so we have to learn things and it's it's very good to learn things and study as you go along but it, it's it's possible that you know you, you turn it too much into an intellectual exercise and that's I, I, I think that's a Western tradition more than anything else it's not really the biblical mindset it's not really uh, Jesus mindset and so I just I just wanted to mention that if that if, if, that, if that would be helpful, I mean, if you find that you're just studying and studying and studying and, you know, what's happening, nothing much is happening, maybe you just need to pray and, you know, have faith and just, uh, you know, ask the Holy Spirit for inspiration and revelation and then act on that and then, you know, learn from that. And if things go wrong, you didn't quite get it, get it right, you know, you can study and pray some more, you know, you can learn, learn things from that. But I think really that our actions as Christians, our thinking and actions as Christians have to start from the, the, the faith, the faith that we have in Jesus Christ, that he, he died and was buried and he rose on the third day for us, and that we can, we can have faith in his power, that if we act uh, from that faith, that we will be protected. It's not that we won't make mistakes, it's not that we won't be tried, it's not that things won't go wrong, but we can learn as we go along instead of trying to control everything intellectually before we try anything. You know, that we'll get into the faith as soon as we know this and know that and know something else. As, as soon as we have all these facts memorized and, and learned, then maybe we'll try to apply. And really, it should be the other way around. You step out in faith, not foolishly, but based on prayer and revelation. You step out in faith 
and you grow and you learn from that experience and you study what you need to study. There are wonderful things to study. I mean, the, the, the word itself, but you know, there are very much uh, uh, anointed extra biblical teachings that the Holy Spirit will lead you to. So I just wanted to make that that uh, com comparison, and, and, and hopefully maybe you can have more of a balance between, uh, you know, overstudying things and not doing very much uh, to apply to really just stepping out in faith in some areas and then just learning from, le learning from what you have done. So uh, that's really what I had to say to you, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for listening.